Hi everybody. Welcome to um, this awesome video tutorial on creating our two new tear tray. I am starting tear tray week. So today we're kicking off with the basics. All next week, Monday through Friday, you need to tune in to see different parts of the tear tray creation. Today is going to be quick and simple, but a needed part of our tear tray to get it started. So we have the tear tray itself. You can find the link to shop the look. Everything that I am creating today, um, simply by clicking on that link in the description of this video. If you are on TikTok, this is important. You need to click the link in my bio. It's the only place you're gonna get links from me on TikTok is in the bio. Okay, now, comes with little instructions, very simple. The top tier and the bottom tier, and look, the bottom does have cute little feet on it. The bottom tier and the top tier are able to be chalked, which I love. There's a very neutral um, transfer that is gonna be chalked on the center here. This is called the Autumn Tear Tray Pattern. So choose your colors wisely because if you do, this can carry through to other seasons. Um, this is our wooden surface and we can easily um, chalk this. Let me show you how it's gonna work. I'm gonna cut this down the cut line. This is the smaller pattern. This is the larger pattern. This is a half circle. There is a circle to line up with the hole. So it's gonna be super easy. Uh, I will go ahead and give this a quick waxing. So I'm gonna use some of our surface wax. There we go, get that waxed. And then we'll go ahead and open up this next one. Pretty quick and easy project, but it's gonna get your tear tray ready for next week because we're gonna create the most adorable autumn decor tear tray. Okay, this is done. Now, what I'm thinking, I'm gonna use actually a green and I don't want too dark of a green. I'm gonna go for our sage green because sage can be, it can be fall, it can be spring, it can be summer, it could even be winter. Um, and I think it's gonna look amazing. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna write back on the backer sheet and then I will peel. I'm gonna go ahead and fuzz this. Okay, we have to chalk it twice because it's gonna be half and half. So I'm lining up this circle with the hole. So here's the first half. Now, you certainly can chalk this with any color you want. If you want to do autumn colors, go for it. I am just going to go ahead and use my sage. It's my daily sneeze. Got to get that out. And I am just squeegeeing through the silk screen. Easy peasy. 
and then I'm going to lift it up, rotate it, I'm going to set it back down, and I'm going to squeegee through the other. You can do this without, it looks really good by the way, without cleaning it. All right. Because it was designed exactly for this. Let me grab a little wipe to wipe my fingers. And then we'll get going again. I'm just going to kind of go from the corner or the center out. I'm going to do the same thing over here. There we go. Easy peasy. So now we have this beautifully chalked center. I'm going to set this aside so that it can dry. And this is going to get washed. And then we will chalk this one. I'm going to do the same thing right the back. And then we will assemble our tear tray. And then coming next week on Monday, we're going to start tear tray autumn decor week. So it'll be so much fun. Same color on the top tier. We're going to go for the sage. There we go. Super quick, super easy. There we go. And we are just about done with this part. I'm going to lift it up, rotate it, and do it again. I'm just going to lift this up to kind of stick it down. There we go. Easy. In place. Pick up a little bit more chalk paste and squeegee it on. That's it. All right. Once this is done, we're going to dry it and put it together. All right, if you have not tried this yet and you would like to try chalk, I highly recommend you um, grabbing a sample. All you have to do is comment sample, unless of course you're on TikTok, then commenting, I can only tell you to click the link in my bio. There we go. Now I'm gonna lay this in my water so that I can clean that up. And we're going to dry these. It looks so good. And when we get it full of all of our cute autumn decor, you guys are going to love it. And the best part about this is it stores flat. It's shipped flat. So it's very easy. You can grab the tear tray from my website. 
and the tear tray, autumn tear tray. No, I was trying to first call the autumn tear tray. Autumn tear tray pattern. All right. Very good. Now let's assemble. You guys, this is easy. It is screwed together. So I'm just going to kind of take all of the things out that you need to assemble. This is obviously going to go to the top. This is at the bottom. We have these little plastic washers. Okay, install the plastic washers to the screw on the bottom of the tray before assembling. They're already there, so they came like this. And I'm gonna stick that into the bottom of the hole, pop it up, it's right there. And I'm going to screw this onto the bolt till it is tight, just hand tighten. Then this is going to go through the top, okay? I guess we got to twist it through the top till it comes out. Oh, yeah. Till it comes out the bottom. Hand tighten. Perfect. Then it's going to go into the bottom of the metal, the black metal, and you're gonna continue to twist. Guys, this is so cute. The design is so perfect. All right, now, the last thing you can do, I believe, is tighten. There we go. Tighten this bolt at the bottom. and that is sturdy. So this is what we're creating with all next week. We're making our tear tray display. So all the things that are going on this tear tray, you're gonna get to see how I make them and how I arrange it, and you'll be able to purchase some of those things. So stay tuned, join me on Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern time for the kickoff to our tear tray week. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing weekend. Bye, everybody.